Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Chris here from Fake Sports News, bringing you guys a quick preview of what to expect going into today's matches. Now, I'm trying something a little bit different today. I will be going over matches day by day. I'm trying this this weekend. Just want to try something fresh, um, get a new take on it. So without further ado, let's jump right into things. As you guys can see, my background is obviously the Dynasty. But um, just to give you guys a quick rundown of the first series, we have the LA Thieves taking on the Vegas Legion. I'm favoring the Thieves to win this series, but I'm not too sure what the series will look like given the fact that the Thieves are playing their online matches in LA. Um, additionally, the Vegas Legion picked up two real this week, so I'm not sure how they'll look with him. Haven't heard much about their scrims or their practice, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to do my best to spitball head-to-head -head in each game mode based on vetoes, and then that will inform my prediction for the series. So looking at the stats, we of course have their picks and vetoes. I like to really organize everything based on the vetoes and uh, kind of go from there. So my projected vetoes are marked with an X. I'm thinking that it's likely that the Legion Veto Hotel uh, Hardpoint Map 1, just because the Thieves are 8 and 5 on, it's their strongest hardpoint. And then conversely, I think the Thieves will veto the Hydro HP because Vegas is decent at it and Thieves are just not very good at it. They vetoed it seven times and Fortress is a map that Vegas is horrid at so I don't see them vetoing that one. Um, if they do play it then obviously it favors Thieves and I think they will pick it. So I think Vegas picks the Embassy for map four and I think Thieves pick the Fortress for map one. This could obviously be wrong but that's just how I see it going based on the performance of the teams and their most likely vetoes. And then in the map two I'm thinking that for the s and Ds, it'll likely be a hotel pick from the Thieves and a Fortress pick from the Legion. I don't see the Thieves vetoing Fortress. They vetoed it five times, but it looks like Mercado is their auto veto. They vetoed that 10 times. And the Legion are very good on Mercado. They're three and two, whereas the Thieves are 0 and two. So I see the Thieves vetoing that. And then in terms of Embassy, that is definitely the Legion's insta veto. They have vetoed that 15 times. They have vetoed Mercado one singular time. And the Thieves are 2-0 on that, so I think it's definitely an insta veto. So that leaves a couple maps left for us. We have El Asilo, which is a really good map for the Vegas boys. I don't see the Thieves choosing that. That's why I have them taking the Hotel for map 2. Uh, I'm sorry, for map 5. And then I see Vegas taking the Fortress for map 2, which should be a pretty easy win for them decidedly, given their record. And then that leaves the Control. So that means that we would likely see a Fortress Control, since obviously Thieves are 9-4 and four in Hotel. Um, the Legion are 3 and 6. And then conversely, both teams are really bad on a CeeLo, so I see it getting vetoed. The Legion are 0 and 4, and then the Thieves are 1 and 2. So I think the Fortress gets through. I think Thieves definitely win the Fortress. They're 4 and 2 versus 1 and 2 for the Legion. And then for the first hard point, since Thieves will likely be Team A, I think they probably let the Fortress get through first. So I think Fortress map 1, I think that goes in favor of the Thieves. The second map, I think, will be a Fortress, so I think that goes in favor of the Legion. The third map, I think, will be a Fortress. I think we get a Triple Fortress. Um, so I think map three goes in favor of the Thieves. And then I'm thinking that the map four, which would be Vegas' pick, will be Embassy, which Thieves are pretty comfortable on, so I think it's a 3-1 in their favor. So let's go mark that down in the pick'ems. 1-2-3-1. One, and this is a double pointer, so hopefully we get that one right, get double the points. In our next series, as you guys can see, okay, so, and this is the head-to-head. -head. I didn't really cover this just because it's a new team. I didn't feel it was really useful, but obviously the LA Thieves are 2-0 against the Legion, and it's only gone to Game 5 a singular time. The other time it was a 3-1, so that's why I'm favoring a 3-1 here. And then in our next series, I have absolutely no idea what to expect in this matchup, as Minnesota has been the streakiest Titan in the CDL, while the Subliners have given them a run for their money consistently in that category lately. I'll just look at the head-to-head -head and favorite maps and vetoes so I can give you guys some sort of a decent call. Um, so looking at their picks and vetoes, if you guys want a more in-depth view of it, just give this a quick pause or go to Breaking Point and check it out yourself. But based on the head-to-head, -head, uh, they've faced off twice. They've traded uh, New York 3 0 them in Stage 1 at the Stage 1 Major for qualifiers going into the groups. I'm sorry, into the bracket. And then the Minnesota Rocker recently beat them 3-2 to two at the Major, Major 2. So it's interesting. They've traded Fortress. I'm sorry. They've traded uh, Embassy S&D and nothing else. So I think Embassy S&D makes it through. 
I see the New York subliners likely selecting that because it's their strongest S and D, but I'll circle back to that in a second. Getting into the hard point, I see the Minnesota Rocker vetoing Hydro. As you guys can see, that's one of their more consistent vetoes. They vetoed it five times. It's possible that they veto Mercado because it's one of subliners best, but I just see them vetoing Hydro just because they're on three on it and subliners are three and oh. Um, and then for their pick, I think they pick Hotel for the map four. I think New York picks Embassy for the map one, Rockers three and five on it, and they have vetoed it four times. So not necessarily their most consistent veto, but definitely not a map that they want to see New York subliners on if they can veto it, but they only get one. So I think they use that one on Hydro. I think Embassy gets through because New York will know that that's a map that they have a really strong advantage on. And then I think Minnesota square up with the map four in the hotel. And I think that the subliners similarly ban the Fortress just because that's been their insta veto. Uh, well, it really hasn't. They've vetoed it never, but I think they'll veto it here just because it'll allow them to get a hotel or a Mercado, which are maps that favor them way more um, against Minnesota Rocker. So in terms of the S&D, I think that the LSE level will get vetoed by the Rocker for obvious reasons. They're one and five. And then on the other side, I think that the subliners will veto Fortress for obvious reasons. They are one and three on it. They've actually vetoed it seven times, so that definitely points to them likely vetoing it. If they don't veto Fortress, then they will most likely veto Silo. They vetoed it ten times. And the Rocker, I think that they will probably pick Hotel for map two. And then that would mean that the subliners pick Embassy for map five. Definitely not a great map five for them, considering their last map five Embassy was against FaZe and they lost it online. But I think it's a map that definitely favors them given their record. So I think these two teams will square up on that map. And then in the control, I think that the LSC low will be vetoed by the New York subliners. They really don't like that map. They're on three on it all time and the Minnesota Rocker 8-0, say it ain't so, SAE it ain't so, my bad. And then, of course, I think the Fortress makes it through. Both teams are really good on Fortress. Of course, the Rocker 4-3 and three, and the Subliners are 5-1, and one, so that's why I see that one getting through. And conversely, the Rocker are not good at hotel control. They are 1-2 and two, and the Subliners are 8-3, and three, so I don't see that one making it through. And that's why I think it'll be a Fortress. So personally, I think Fortress control goes the way of the Subliners. I just feel like they are the best Fortress control team in the game right now, and I think they will take that one. In terms of the map one, which will likely be the Subliners pick, Embassy, I think that goes their way. Rocker, not necessarily a great Embassy team, and they haven't shown many signs of improvement lately, I would say, so I think that goes their way. And then the map two, which would be Rocker's pick on Hotel, I think that goes the way of Rocker. I think the map four, which would be Rocker's pick, uh, is also going to go their way even though ah, I'm sorry I think the map 4 is going to go the way of the subliners so with that in mind I think if my mocks come to fruition I think it should be a 3-1 for the subliners here just given the fact that I think that the map will like I'm sorry the map set will likely be embassy followed by a hotel followed by a fortress followed by uh, embassy S&D game 5 and a hotel map four. So I think New York closed down the hotel map four. They were a really good hard point team. I think they take both hard points here. And then I think they also take the map three control if it goes the way I'm expecting it to. That's why I think it's a three one for New York. I think that's a pretty reasonable call given uh, the way that these teams have squared up. They played Fortress control one singular time. Obviously New York walked away with it. And then when they played LSC low, Rocker walked away with it. So it is possible that they veto Fortress control, but I doubt it, just given how poor Rocker's looked on Hotel. So looking at our last series, we have the Boston Breach taking on the Toronto Ultra. You guys can pause if you want to see the picks and vetoes. Um, and honestly, I'm thinking this is going to be a really good series. I favor the Ultra to win it. I think they get their map pick first since they're the higher seed. So I see map one being a Mercado. I think they banned Fortress. Fortress is not a map they like to play. They vetoed it five times, never picked it. And then on the Boston Breach side, I think for the map four, we get an Embassy Hardpoint, which they are four and two on. Ultras two and three, they're okay, not great, but I think that they will likely ban the Hotel since Ultra are seven and four, and they look to be probably the best Hardpoint Hotel team in the game. So I think it'll be an Embassy and Mercado in these hard points. Map 1 being Mercado, which favors the Ultra strongly, as you guys can see. 
Um, the Breach do not like playing Mercado. They've only played it once and they've lost it. And the Ultra played it 11 times, they won six. So I think Ultra take the map one here with that in mind. I think that the Boston Breach will have Fortress as the map two, and then the Ultra will select Hotel as map five. So I think map two goes in favor of the Boston Breach boys. I'm sorry, I think map two goes in favor of the Ultra boys, just because their Fortress has looked really, really good as of late. They're also 3-1 on Fortress uh, S&D, so that really bodes well for them. And that's a straight square up, so... I think those are the best two options for these two, just square up on Fortress and then on, of course, Hotel. Um, in terms of the control, it's going to likely be a Fortress control because Boston's good on Elisilo. Um, Toronto liked to veto Elisilo a lot, but against a team like Breach, who is really bad on Hotel control, which is Toronto's best control, I see Boston vetoing Hotel just because Toronto is so strong on it. It's almost a free dub for them. And I see the two squaring up on Fortress. I think Fortress goes the way of the Toronto Ultra. I just feel like their pressure is a little bit more uh, than the Boston Breach side. So I think it'll go their way. And then in terms of the Map 1, you guys know I'm thinking Map 1, Ultra, Map 2, I'm thinking it'll likely go in favor of the Ultra. I think their Fortress is just a little bit better than the record may suggest. And then the map three, Fortress Control. I think Ultra is a little bit better at Fortress, even though they don't play it as often. Um, they, vetoed, they vetoed it 11 times. Boston has actually never vetoed it, but I do think the Ultra will be a little bit better just because Boston is a new team. So yeah, I guess that means a 3-0 in terms of the vetoes if my vetoes are to be believed, but just out of respect to the Boston Breach boys, I will say a 3-1 is more likely. So I'll say a 3-1 for the Toronto Ultra. And yeah, so that's my map picks, vetoes, my mocks uh, that I typically do before a series for the Pickums, as you guys can see from the last stage. Let's check it out. The mocks went pretty well for your boy. Let's go to Major 2. Yeah, so I got 26th in the world for the Pick'em leaderboard, so my mocks went pretty well last time. I trust them this time. And yeah, that was about wrapped up for me. I'm going to lock in today's predictions right here and keep it pushing. So yeah, catch you guys on the next iteration. Of course, that being tomorrow's matches where we kick things off with the Ravens taking on the Breach. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope you enjoy all the COD today. And stay tuned for more to come on the channel. Uh, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Once again, this is Chris with Big Sports News, and I am signing off. Hope you guys have a great morning, noon, or night, wherever you may be on this beautiful planet, and I hope you enjoy all the COD. And if you agree, disagree, have any feelings toward this, then let me know in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.